Hello, I'm Wolfram Tanner, the product manager for the DTEM core. I want to show you how to set up a multi-sided access protection. We need a DTEM sender and receiver pair. We need the brackets for mounting the DTEM in the column. We need an alignment aid with a laser. And we need three Allen keys for adjusting the screws. For mounting the device in the column, please use the set that is especially made for mounting the DTEM in the column. Only this set guarantees uh, a good mounting because there is a washer included which is not included in the normal bracket. The sliding blocks included in that package uh, might be very hard to handle. So you can also switch to the squared sliding blocks. That makes it easier. It's up to you. The advantage of these is that you can mount from the front. With the squared ones, you can only mount coming from the top. The most common way of mounting is that you have 300 millimeters first beam to the floor. Now, when you mount the two brackets, make sure that they are not in the same height level as the beams are. So that would be a good level to place the two brackets. Slide in the bottom bracket. Place it more or less in the position where you want to have it. When you fix it, make sure that it's very well centered and that it's upright. Afterwards, of course, uh, we have to mount the second bracket. And here I want to show you that you have to make sure that the washer is placed between the bracket and the column. I bring it down to the desired position, more or less, align it and fix it. Now we mount the DTEM sender inside the bracket. And we bring it to the correct height positioning. 300 millimeter for the first beam. If you use the correct column for this three beam system, then uh, you will reach the same level for uh, the DTEM top and the column top. Easy to see. Do not fix these screws yet. That's done after the alignment. Repeat the same procedure for the receiver detail. 